I'm Nikki, Kelly, Emma, and I'm Alice. We're the editors of Capsule, and this is us, Encapsulated. Encapsulated? Encapsulated. Encapsulated. Nancy Jo, detective. Child detective. <laughs> <laughs> when I was super young, um, I watched Sequest DSV. You won't know what this is, but I wanted to be a marine biologist. I really liked singing as a kid, and my mum was really into opera. So I thought, heck, I'll be an <laughs> opera singer. Journalist for me, ever since I was 10. For me, it was after 9-11 when I saw all of the journalists on camera running around and, and reporting and finding out things that were happening exactly. That, that was like, yep, that's what I want to do. Kind of does quite a good line and lounge wear, don't they? Ooh. In pyjamas. Mm. An iPhone charger, um, because I'm always needing another one. Where do all the phone chargers go? Right? The same place as the bobby pins. And the socks. We've worked together for a really long time. We always used to say that one day we'd go to Paris together because we never got to have holidays at the same time. That's a dream. We can do that now. We can do that. We can do that now. But although we're still working together technically, but well, we can take it on the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Capsule yeah, yeah. on tour. Yes. Bonjour, Capsule. Oh. Oh, I don't know when the French to back that up. Sorry. <laughs> I would still love to write a book. I've made no effort ever in that department, so um, the dream is still quite a long way off being a reality. Every writer probably mm. harbours a secret desire to do that, so yeah, one day. Too. Yeah, If I'm recommending one that I think everybody could universally like, um, I think Eleanor Oliphant is okay. Is that what it's called? I didn't care for it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I really wish that I could read Gone Girl for the first time again. If I was going to read anything, yeah. that would be it. That was good. You really didn't know what was coming with that book, did you? You'll Grow Out of It by Jessie Klein. Harry Potter. Oh, of course you would say Harry Potter. Well, I probably should say my children. <laughs> Seeing them becoming their own people and discovering who that is. Quite a few years ago, I got diagnosed with an autoimmune disease, Hashimoto's thyroiditis. It didn't sort of define who I am and that I could be the editor of the Women's Weekly of this job that was quite fast paced and still do it. And like I kind of outlasted that job. It had to quit yeah. on me, I didn't quit on it. Yeah. So <laughs> I co-wrote a book a couple of years ago and I was very proud of that. Yeah. Probably starting Capsule. We started doing it two weeks after we'd been made redundant and our heads were an absolute mess, but we knew that this is what we wanted to do. Wow, I really enjoyed New Zealand history and specifically Gate Pa, the Battle of Gate Pa. New Zealand history in general. The Māori Lamb Wars, the Musket Wars, everything that happened after the Treaty of Waitangi. Women's history, more oh, understanding, yeah, more the unsung heroes that we don't get to hear about. There's a Shakespeare quote that pops into my head. She may be little, she may, no, what is it? She may be but little, but she is fierce. You wouldn't care so much what people thought of you if you knew how seldom they do. People are just thinking about their own stuff. You are not even on their radar, it's greatly <laughs> comforting. Treating others how you would want to be treated yourself. Come Celebrate With Me by Lucille Clifton. The final line is, uh, come celebrate with me that every day something has tried to kill me and has failed. Oh, that's really I'm Sorry, just to just lay that yeah. out. When I worked at TVNZ, we, <laughs> for about a year, just spent a lot of time playing foosball and TVNZ doubles champ sitting right here. I like yoga, that would be my hobby. Netball for me. I love a crossword. Mm. I really... <laughs> <laughs> I hope that we will remember what it is like to all come together for the greater good. I hope that we hang on to that. You buy, you spend money on fast options and expensive options, and it's like none of that crap matters when you can actually stay home with the people you love and be connecting and trying to stay in touch with your friends and family who met them the most. I hope we keep the respect we have for essential workers mm. that we had during that time. I just hope out of this shitstorm of a year, we can somehow emerge from it a better country than we were.